With less than 100 days until Election Day, we're getting the pulse of voters as we inch closer to November. Not only is the White House up for grabs, but several controversial amendments will be on the ballot, too. Victor Jorges, live near Mar-a-Lago this morning. Victor, let's start with the matchup between former President Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Yeah, this new poll from the University of North Florida shows former President Donald Trump has a seven-point lead over Vice President Kamala Harris. So they actually spoke to around 700 voters. They asked them if the election was happening today, who would they vote for? And about half of them say they plan to vote for former President Trump. A little less than half say they will cast their ballot for Vice President Harris. And about 6% were either undecided or they refused to answer. Now, it's important to tell you this data was gathered after former President Donald Trump announced that J.D. Vance would be his VP running mate and uh, Biden officially dropped from the race. Ashley? Yeah, Victor, this poll also addresses controversial amendments like recreational marijuana and abortion rights. What do we know there? Yeah, let's start with recreational marijuana this morning. That will be Amendment 3 when the ballot comes out in November. More than half of Florida voters say they will vote in favor of making recreational marijuana use legal here in Florida, while 31% say they will vote no. And then there's Amendment 4. It would restore abortion access to the point of viability, which is about 24 weeks of pregnancy. 69% of people surveyed say they will vote yes, putting it over that 60% threshold to become law. Meantime, 23% say they will plan to vote against the amendment. Now, something that you need to keep in mind when you're making these decisions is that 60% of the votes must be in favor uh, or, you know, in against this for for it to become law and the election is 96 days away so there's still a lot that can change yeah. guys we will be tracking it all leading up to election day victor thank you